everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all really well. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Missa. Go follow me on Instagram, way hotter over there. Um, today, I've just been fanning around, playing with my new Urban Decay Naked Honey palette that they very kindly sent to me. And then I remembered, hold on, we have one last declutter to do. So, today we are going to be doing powders, primers and concealers. This is probably going to be a fairly longish video. Maybe we'll hit the one hour mark. Um, just a nice rounded hour. And this is, did I just say it's the last in our series? If I didn't, it is. And if I didn't, then I said it twice. It's quite late at night. I'm a little like ready for bed, but needs must. Got appointments tomorrow and the next day. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. And if you wanna join me for our last declutter, because I'm not getting rid of any clutters or pigments, don't come for me, then let's just jump in there. This is my concealer drawer. We organized it not that long ago, like we put in this divider thing and we organized it somewhat, but um, we need to do it again. I want to obviously declutter brutally in this series, so we have to actually brutally declutter. And I'm already seeing ones in here that in our last declutter I was like, oh, I'll use that to cream contour, and I haven't, so that's why we're here. We're, I'm just going to take it maybe, like, what are these, square by square, and just start. So, first off, Too Faced, Born This Way, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in Marshmallow. I also though have it in Snow. Neither of these are going anywhere. I do have this one as well. This is the shade Taffy. Um, this is a really, really odd shade. I mean, it's not that odd, but it's not quite dark enough for me to cream contour. So I'm gonna have to put that in the declutter pile because it's just, it's a really weird kind of undertone for me. It's quite orange, so that's gonna go. Also, since my last video, I haven't at all even tried the Sample Beauty Erase, Erase and Boost Base. This is like a kind of solid version of the P. Louise base, that kind of thing. I haven't used them, so I'm gonna declutter those as well. I do have my L'Oreal Infallible Pomade Concealer, which I use quite a lot to carve my brows. Used it to cut my crease recently, and by the end of the day, why that look bad? So don't use it to cut your crease, but really good for carving out your brows. And I've also got my NARS um, Pot Matte Concealer. It's a pinch too dark. I needed Chantilly, but I bought sorry vanilla. So I still use it. I still love it. I hope my dressing gown's fairly clean. I think it is. I've also got my Bare Minerals Well Rested that I bought because Shanix all uses it. It's a pinch too dark for me, but it does work when I'm wearing a deeper foundation. This is like a powder concealer, but she uses it to like set under her eyes, so I'm gonna keep that. Moving on, Revlon Candid Concealer. That's not going anywhere. I use it every day. I love it to as a base for my eyeshadow. I love it to carve my brows. I don't really use it as a concealer, but still. I have one, two, three. One, two, three. Conceal and hydrates. I am going to declutter C5, which is unopened. I'm gonna keep C3 because I have been using it. This is the one I've been using in those videos. I've done two videos in this, by the way. And I also have C14, which is a shade for cream contouring. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. I wonder if because I don't really love the formula, I might like it for cream contouring more. I also don't love the the formula, like I just said. But I do plan on doing at least one more video using this range, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I've got two ColourPop concealers. One's quite old, one's newer. Meh, I feel no, nothing really towards it. I don't think it's that great. One, two, three of my beautiful babies, my Jouer concealer. This is my number one. This is probably my number two, but this is my number one. So that's not going anywhere. I've got three different shades, all at varying stages of pretty much almost finished. So keeping, 
and I'm also going to keep both my Jeffree Stars because I've been using these quite a lot in just like Instagram tutorials and I've actually really been enjoying them. I know I liked it the first time I tried it, but I think the more I've used it, the more I like it. Not the most full coverage, but it is a good concealer, so I'm going to hold on to that. And I have three e.l.f. camel concealers. I really don't need three, but I've opened them. I do use them quite a lot in my own time. Like, I used it today, for example, underneath my eyes and thought, wow, that's actually a really good concealer. I think I've only tried it a couple of times before that. I'm just going to hold on to them because, like I said, I've opened and used them all. I was trying to find my perfect shade and I don't know which one I used today. I think I used the lightest one. I think I used Fair Beige today, which is really pale and it was very brightening. So, um, Revolution Conceal and Correct. It's my only white concealer, I think. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Do I have a maybe pile? Was that in the maybe pile? That's going to join that in the maybe pile. Then I've got Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I really like this one. It's nice. Let me zoom you in a bit. Come in. It's nice. I enjoy this formula. I've got the matching foundation. Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the shade Very Fair. It's not very fair at all. It's one of my darkest light concealers. I'm going to declutter that now. And Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. Eesh. I've got two of these. Yeah, there we go. I honestly just don't reach for this concealer but I feel like at this point I might as well finish them off do you know what I mean no I'm gonna declutter this one because it looks much darker and keep this one this is ivory and this one is that one's just called neutralizer so I'll get rid of that one and keep ivory and just finish it off I have no thoughts hither or thither about it it's just me my beloved Meron concealer wheel I use this still a lot it looks really manky I also sometimes like put my P. Louise base or any base that I'm using in the lid to keep other things clean I used it today to clean up my lipstick that I applied really badly so I'm gonna keep a hold of that it's still fine it's going strong and um, let's look at the contour shades I've got at the back I've got a few NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealers, I think. One, two, three, four, four. I'm only gonna keep Walnut and I'm gonna declutter these three, one of which isn't open. And I've got two Nip and Fab contour sticks. It's like this big, big fatty of a contour stick. I am going to keep, yeah, I'm going to keep Medium Sculpt, which is this one, and I'm going to get rid of Cool Taupe because that made me look ill in a video recently, so we will declutter that one. Iconic London, this is, is it foundation stick? Pigment stick, this is in the shade 2.1, I'm going to get rid of that, I've had that for a long time. And I've got a Wet n Wild and an Ardell. These are like the double-sided ones. I never reach for those, so they can go. Another Sample Beauty one in a deeper shade. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. Is that the right shade? Yeah. This is a backup of my LA Girl one. I've definitely got one somewhere else in here. There. A backup of my LA Girl one. It's a slightly different shade, but it'll still be fine. I love that for cream contouring, so they can live, well, I'll put them up here for now, just so we get the satisfying noises of me putting stuff back in my drawer. And I have the Stila Stay All Day Concealer Refill. Um, why did I buy this, you ask, for my full face? What is that? For my full face of Stila, that I've still not done, and probably won't do now. It's just a really dark concealer. It was really cheap, so I bought it as a cream contour for that video, but, I doubt I'll ever do that, so I'm just going to declutter that. Okay, I lied. I have another two bottles of the Too Faced thing. I'm only going to keep Warm Sand because I can contour with that. And I'm going to get rid of Latte, which again is a really strange shade. It's almost like diarrhea. So I'm going to get rid of that one. 
I also lied. I have a third Jeffree Star concealer. This one is in C19 and this is good for cream contouring. You're not gonna take my Jeffree Stars off me. Oh, Barry M all night long. Um, one, how many cream contours do I have? One, two, three, four. No, I've got many more. I am going to keep that because I actually really like that formula. And then this is Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam. It's one of their liquid highlighters, but under the eyes, mixed with concealer. This is so brightening and beautiful, so I'm holding on to that. I'm determined, oh, shush, shush, shush. I'm determined to completely finish it up. Okay, let's fire through this a bit faster. Huda Marshmallow, love it, not going anywhere. Huda Whipped Cream, also love it, not going anywhere. Huda Meringue, also love it, not going anywhere. Sorry, they're all, they all work for me. And then NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Unopened and Natural, that can go. I'm gonna get rid of my Essence Cama Camouflage, that can go. Oh, not getting rid of this. This was my holy grail until I discovered the Jouy. And um, what's it called? Urban Decay thingy. It's really good, all nighter. And I'm gonna also keep my Barry M Normal Shade For Me Concealer. This is in number one, Milk. Really good, I like this concealer a lot. Um, I'm going to keep, no I'm not, I'm gonna get rid of it. My YSL All Hours Concealer. I actually like this for spot concealing, but it's probably quite old now. It also smells like petrol and has done for a long time. Ooh, this is new and really good Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. Just, it's, a dupe, really, of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, so I'm keeping, well, I'm keeping both of them. And Fast Base. I tried this for cream contouring, and I wasn't really a fan, so that can go. Oh. Trying to hide from me my Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah, I'll finish that up. I don't think that's like the best concealer I've ever tried in the world, but what ifs? Got three of the newest as well, Revolution Concealer, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know, it's not written on it. I'm just gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep whatever one I've really used. That one, is it? See, not used that one. And I'm gonna get rid of the one for cream contouring so it's not dark enough. So I'm gonna keep the shade. Something. Where are you? Almond, almond, almond. Just because I like to have a lot of Makeup Revolution options. Okay. Sadly, it's probably time to say bye-bye to my Amazing Cosmetics one. It's quite old now. I am going to put the Slotty London one in the maybe pile because I can't remember what I thought about it. Um, you can go. going to get rid of this Essence one. I am going to... Where is the other one of that? I've definitely got more concealers hiding somewhere. This is probably the only stick concealer that I've actually liked in a while, the Makeup Revolution one, so I'm gonna keep a hold of that. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, did I keep one of them or did I get rid of it? Maybe pile, because I can't remember if I kept one or not. Not getting rid of this, great concealer. Um, I've not even tried this underneath my eyes, the fast base one. I only tried it for cream concealing, contouring, sorry, so I'm gonna keep that to try. And I've got, I've got two of the L'Oreal Infallible More Than, might as well keep them. I've opened and used them both. Gonna get rid of the Rimmel one, cause it's orange. And one, two. Gonna keep my two L'Oreal Maybelline, sorry, Fit Me's, because they were all right. I actually used that the other day and was quite impressed. I am gonna get rid of Collection Lasting Perfection. I never reach for it. I'm also gonna get rid of this anyway Fast Base one. The concealer is not as good as the foundation, so if you've tried this and not liked it, don't say no to the foundation, that's really good. But the concealer is not as good. I'm also gonna get rid of my Sleek Life Proof. Meh, never reach for it. I'm gonna get rid of all three of my small Conceal and Defines. I think they're quite old now. 
but I'm gonna keep my super size one because I quite I mean I like it for again as a base for my um what why am I flapping this around a base for eyeshadow that kind of thing I've got two Morphe fluidities I'm gonna keep a hold of them because I actually quite like that formula and I'm gonna keep a hold of my Revolution Pro one what's it called can camouflage because that's really good as well is that this whole drawer yes it is so maybes are these i'm gonna keep the makeup revolution white one because i think it's quite handy to have a white concealer i'm gonna keep the conceal and hydrate for cream contouring because i have the conceal and define in a contour shade as well although two shades lighter but that'll be good for my head to head video. I'm gonna get rid of the next can't stop, won't stop, and I'm gonna get rid of the Lottie London. So, all together, not too bad. So let's just start filling up this drawer then, shall we? These dividers, by the way, are from Amazon, and I liked them because they were short and not long like the other ones. So anyway, let's start putting things in. Concealer's done. I have not counted how many I'm keeping, but I could technically fit them probably into like four of these compartments, whereas they used to take up eight. I've got rid of quite a lot. I will obviously show you as we progress, but now we're going to move on to the next drawer down. Don't judge. All of my pajama bottoms are makeup pajama bottoms, so it's just the way things are. This is my primer drawer. It's not a drawer I get excited about, to be quite honest, because primer is probably one of the most boring products on the planet. But let us just continue, and I can already pick out like my favourites just from a very quick inspection. Par exemple, very bad French. The Hylamide HA Blur, great wrinkle filler for your forehead, if even if it doesn't last that long. Oh, I always keep some moisturizers in here. This is my Peter Thomas Roth water drench. Fabulous. Not getting rid of that. I'm also not gonna get rid of my Stila Sheer Illumination Souffle because I'm still kind of testing it. I use it quite regularly actually, but it's not like mind blowing for the price I thought it would be. And then I have two of the Revolution Hydration Boosts as you can see, I really like this. I'm the kind of person that sticks the end of a brush quite often into a pot of something to get product out. Keeping, I mean, this isn't going anywhere, is it? Glam Glow, Nude Glow, best illuminating moisturizer in the world. Also, bit of a, a weird one for me, the Elf Putty Primer. I've been using this past few days with the Revolution Matte base foundation and loving it the combination is incredible so i've actually technically hit pan on that i've been really enjoying this and when i first used it i don't think i was like blown out the water so yeah oh this drawer is a mishmash i mean there's also lip balm in here okay then i have the huda beauty nymph body nymph nymph something I don't care for that. I can get rid of that quite easily. I just got this today with my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette that they sent me. I think I'm gonna hold on to that because I've never tried it. I've only ever tried Sin. Is that what it's called? No. Minor Sin Primer Potion. And this one's sparkly. So I'm gonna keep a hold of the other one, but I'm gonna put it in the back of my concealer drawer because I use it as an eye base. Ooh. This is quite a posh moisturizer. This is the Argentum moisturizer. It smells like you are very, very rich and your name is like Mountbatten or Waldorf. It's nice, I like it. Would never, ever, ever pay for it, but it seems nice. I have this Too Faced primed and peachy that I'm saving for a first impression. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, this Declior SPF, I'm gonna get rid of that. I've had it for ages. I'm also gonna get rid of the Revolution 
black primer. It's literally black, well, quite grey. But use a drop too much and your whole face will just be grey. Shut up, phone. So I'm going to get rid of that. I mean, I could blend that out, but I mean, even blended out, it's still a little grey. This is a really boring drawer, but I'm going to just probably point out my faves. Right, next bear with me hemp one. I really enjoyed this recently, so I'm going to keep it. Elf Poreless Face Primer, four times the original. When this arrived, I was like, why is it so big? Four times the original. I'm going to get rid of that because I tried it and I didn't love it that much. Oh, I've got this Linda Halberg Infinity Glass. It's just a clear gloss. It's just a clear gloss for your eyes, lips, face. I still want to try that. I don't really know which drawer to put it in, so it stays in here. So I'll hold on to that for now. And I have this Fig and Rouge Soft Focus Pore Perfect that I got in a cohorted box. I'm going to get rid of that because, I don't know, my makeup doesn't really sit that nicely over it. Oh, Eye Coat Eye Boost. This is great. So it's like an eye serum, but it also... Oh no, it's supposed to vibrate. Oh, it does, still listen. Fun. But I actually really like this serum underneath my eyes. It's really nice, I think this is like 50 bucks. I didn't buy it, they sent it to me, thankfully. I am going to be quiet. I'm gonna get rid of both the Revolution Pro one. One's matte, one's glowy. Both are matte, really matte. So, can go. If any are unopened, they're just gonna go because clearly I don't care. So I've got the Ellie Girl one, Makeup Obsession one, can go. This Makeup Obsession even out, it's a green primer. I don't really get a lot of discoloration on my face, so that can go. This, no. Also gonna get rid of the All in a Blur one. Nothing personal to Makeup Obsession. I just don't really use primer, so. If I keep a primer, it's because I either really love it or because I really want to test it. And then with the, uh, what was it called? Colourpop Rainbow um, big PR box I got. I got sent all of these. That is not one. Where is it? These are the new 4-3 face milks. I'm going to keep the watermelon one because it smells incredible. They sent me two matcha. There was one, I think was supposed to be acai. I think that's how you pronounce it, but they sent me two matcha. So I'm gonna get rid of both of them anyway. And I'm gonna keep the turmeric, because I've been reading up on the powers of turmeric recently in relation to my back. So I'm gonna keep that one. Ooh, little mini Too Faced Hangover one. I really like this. I'd love to buy the full size, but it's really expensive and I'm on a no buy. And I've got my favorite lip balm brand, Dr. Pawpaw. I don't know if it's the best lip balm on the market. I just really like the smell of it. It nourishes my lips for at least six hours, I'd say. I mean, I've always got dry lips. But these are tinted, which is why I really like them. Because I just put a bit of that on, a bit of my glowy moisturiser, and I got my PT sessions. Ooh, 4-3 papaya. Let me smell it. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. It smells delicious forward my friends. Revolution Star Primer, that can go as well, don't care for it. Oh, this was my favourite one for so long, the BAM Professional Matte Rescue. It's not really mattifying, it's just incredible flying, incredifying. I really like it, this is definitely almost finished. I've got this mini one, it's definitely almost finished, so I'm going to finish them up. If I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry. Um, makeup, no, Floor More, this green one can go. This is new to me, but it's gonna go. The Milani Camellia face oil. Really annoys me that the lid does not go on properly. I have tried. That can go. Oh, this is nice. My Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. I use this when I want a little, a little bit more. And I'm also going to get rid of this MUA Pro Base. It's a stick one. I thought it was quite fun because it made me, oh, that's very cooling. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it though. Oh, 
I'm going to get rid of L'Oreal Infallible. I am going to get rid, no, should I keep that? Should I keep that? I don't know. That might be my only pure hyaluronic acid, so I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile over here. Um, I'm gonna keep this Neutrogena one. Cause it's all right. It's all right, you know? And from Revolution, the only one I'm gonna keep, I think is the Revolution Pro Radiance Primer, cause it gives you a bit of radiance. Not much, but a bit. And I'm gonna get rid of the Pore Blur and the Mattify, which isn't even open. I am going to get rid of the Milani, because whatever. Oh, I'm going to keep the Ardell Illuminating one, because I do quite like that. Ish. And enough. And I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Obsession pore blurring one as well. All of these need to go. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had this. I really like the Revolution Pro Lip, lip Relief, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm gonna keep my Goody Co Rich Lips. That's a really nice lip balm. Gonna keep this Smashbox Mini. Why not? Try it out one day. Uh, there's just a lot. Oh, a nice full size Benefit Professional. Gonna keep that. Gonna get rid of the Pro Base Primer Oil. I don't know, I've got a bit of a love hate with oils. I have another Smashbox Mini. I'm gonna keep that too, because it's just too cute and it'll be good for traveling. Even though I never go anywhere. Gonna get rid of this e.l.f. lip scrub. I heard so many good things about this over the years. When I tried this, it literally ripped my lips open in three places. I think it was two. I'm exaggerating with three, but it's dramatic effect. It's like two or three places. And it really hurts. This isn't, this physically hurts. So much, so that can go. J1 Jelly Pack Mini can go because it's finished. Oh, Cover FX, the Water Cloud Primer that can stay. I've actually not tried that or have once. Can't remember. This is what kicked off my love for the Glam Glow Nude Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. This still has a wee bit in it, and I'm gonna squeeze all the life out of it that I can. I'm gonna get rid of this. Makeup Revolution one. I never use it, there's no point in keeping it. And I'm gonna get rid of this fourth ray glow oil. It's not that nice on me. Oh look, I've got a Makeup Revolution hyaluronic acid. I could keep both and do like half face, high end half face drugstore, even though the ordinary isn't expensive, but it's more expensive than Makeup Revolution. Is it though, than Makeup Revolution face products? Like serums and stuff? Okay, why do I have this? Wet n Wild Matte Primer, no. Oh, this is nice. Colourpop Lippy Scrub, you can almost do with some lip scrub. If you got dry and crusties like me, and I'm also gonna keep the Wet n Wild Watermelon one. You can't see in there, because it smells delicious. And I have dug into that quite a bit. So that, oh, that smells so good. Gonna get rid of these little minis, they're pretty much done. Gonna get rid of this lip balm. Guys, I think it's pants. Oh, I do like Milana lips. Gotta say, gotta say I like that. Got the strawberry one. And I quite like this um, B, BB plumper one, cause in the hopes that it'll plump my lips. And I've got this little pot of Illamasqua, you know, the jelly primer that is a fun feeling. Here's some ASMR for you. Anyway, after all of that squishing and squashing, whatever, I have no feelings towards that, so I'm actually gonna get rid of that because I don't care. I'm keeping these right, I'm getting rid of that. Don't really have any organization for this drawer, as you can see. I don't really know how to. Probably with like my concealer system, these things, but I would need to build one, and right now, I'm not gonna. So I'm just gonna stack everything back in and we'll move on to powders. That is probably as unsatisfying for you as it is for me, trust me. I hate unorganized drawers, but 
unfortunately. I can't build a system for it tonight. Last up powders, which we decluttered recently and I don't know what's happened. <laughs> I don't know what's happened, so. Okay, last drawer. I'm so tired. I actually think I'm like delusional. I'm that tired and I have 7.30 a.m. doctor's appointment tomorrow. Gonna be many easy ones in here for me. Cody Ears one, staying. It's incredible. Revolution Pro Skin Finish. I I don't do my makeup without this now. I can't open it either. I don't do my makeup without this. So bright. So bright. So bright. Excuse my light is right there. Don't do my makeup without it. I've got two shades. Opalescent is my fave, but I've also got Luminescence, which is nice too. Just, I prefer opalescent. Okay, hourglass fail. Not going anywhere. Do you know how expensive that was? I did get it for free, to be fair. But still, backup of Laura Mercier, loose translucent, stays. Where is your sister? Where is your sister? Show yourself to me. Where the hell are you? I can't see. Can't find it. Anyway, Fenty Pro Filter Powder stays incredible. That should butter for anyone asking. Got two Jeffrey stars. Got fair and translucent. They're gonna, they're gonna, gonna stay because they're great. Don't worry, things will be going. Um, I'm just picking out ones that I know are staying. Full show. Oh, recent discovery. OPV. This is so nice. Everyone told me it was. Translucent, really nice. That's gonna stay. Na, na, na. Na. Super great, super cheap. Pure Bake by Makeup Obsession stays. I can't believe how good that is. That's like high end good. Huda Beauty is high end and it is good and it's gonna stay. Okay, I've got my Too Faced ones and I've been using the shade Seashell, which is wrong for me because it's really pink but it's good when I wear a very neutral foundation. And I'm also gonna keep porcelain, which is really yellow and good because I am actually yellow toned it seems, but I'm gonna get rid of shortbread. I did say I was gonna see what shade I was. I haven't actually used that one, so my niece will be delighted, so that can go. And the Kat Von D ones, I have been using, okay, I've been using this one more. This is the shade Fair 120. But I discovered by opening this, I'm actually fair 115. Pink, yellow. So I'm actually gonna keep both because I do really like both. And I can make both work. But I am 115, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this Rimmel one because it made me orange. This is the lightest color. And it is orange. Can you see how orange that is? That's the lightest shade that they do. Lightest shade. Also, in this incredibly powerful light source right here, this has so much glitter in it, which usually I'm not opposed to, but I am today, so that can go. I'm also gonna get rid of my Nabla, because I never reach for it and it can go. Gonna keep my Ciate Extraordinary one, because it's good, and I've got the matching foundation. Oh, I'm still saving this for a first impression, the Peach one, Peach Perfect in Translucent. Yeah, bye. What's the brand? Too Faced. So that can stay. I am keeping this for one more video. I think I hate this, but I'm gonna keep it for one more video. I'm just gonna keep the light pink and translucent can go. Slight difference between them. But yeah, I hated this in my first, first video. I've only used it once. Oh, the lid has come off of my mini. Kat Von D Locket, great powder, that can stay. And I'm almost out, as you can see. Oh, you can't see, because I'm off screen of the full size one. So I'm gonna finish that off. And what next? Another Kat Von D in here. I've also been using Light 125. You can stay. I'm feeling uh, generous with myself and my powders. Urban Decay All Nighter Powder, this can stay. I've actually not used that yet. So that can go in a first impression. And the Too Faced Bananas one can stay. Don't know if you can see. No, you can. It's got bananas in it. Very fun. 
My lighting is so wrong. This Kiko one can go because it is way too dark for me. Powder doors just get super messy. Revolution Pro, this is a dupe for the Mac Studio Fix. This is F5. And I also have F4. When I was telling you that this was really powdery, don't know if you can see there, that's just me swirling my brush in it and then obviously closing the compact when I was done. That's how powdery it is. It is such a powdery product and ah, I'm going to keep F4 but I'm going to get rid of F5 because it'll be good to do my half high end, half full um, drugstore because I do have Mac Studio Fix. This one will be my old one because it feels light so I'm going to finish that up. Things just get messy in powder drawers, don't they? And then this is my newest one. They're not going anywhere. I love Mac Studio Fix. Right, Revolution Pro Hydromat. That can go and burn a death. Too faced pawn this way can stay. I still can only make it work with certain foundations. Other ones, it oxidizes like crazy. Gonna get rid of my Lottie Ready Set Go because I don't remember the last time I picked that up. Going to get rid of Essence All About Matte. Gonna keep Makeup Obsession Game Set Matte. I thought this was really good. Really liked it the day I tried it. This, if you know me, it's purely sentimental. I wore it on my wedding day and then obviously continued to wear it. But I don't wear it anymore, I just keep it because sentiment. I'll keep my bacon blots because I do quite like this pressed um, formula. I am though going to get rid of the loose ones because I just never reach for them. And I'm going to keep my ColourPop translucent because I think that's really nice. Going to get rid of my NARS. Weird I know. I really like this powder but the shade Snow is so pale that... Oh, maybe pale. Okay. If I pack it on with a sponge, it is awful, but I wonder if I can press it on loosely with a brush. Kind of copping out, but I'm putting it in the maybe pile, so that's fine. I am going to keep the BAM Sexy Mama, which is just a pressed one. You don't see me use it a lot because I tend to take this as like a handbag powder because it's not my favourite powder. But it's great for traveling just because it's really small and fine it fits in any handbag unless it's obscenely small so i'm going to keep a hold of that but it is just like what i use if i'm going out for a long day which i haven't done obviously now in nine months but usually and i like it for that purpose oh my mini hourglass that is pretty much empty that can go I'm going to keep Morphe Brightening Pink because I really enjoy that powder but I'm going to declutter Translucent just because I never ever ever use it. Oh I like the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. Even though I hated the foundation, I like the powder. This is in light. I'll keep that one. What is this? This Revolution one can go. I have no feelings for it. Barry M can go. I have another Too Faced one. Oh, this is clearly used most heavily. This is Cream Puff. I'm gonna keep that because I've clearly been using it. This Milani one can go. Pretty much done. MUA Pro Base can go. Milani Illuminating one cannot go. I just can't open things. It's really nice, it's really pretty. Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores can go away, far away from me because I don't like it. Oh, Cover FX, that can stay. Really nice powder. I want the full size. Maybelline Super Stay. I'm just going to finish that off. I use it quite a lot. Seems to keep going. I am going to get rid of this collection one. I do actually really like it, but I never ever reach for it and it just gets lost in my drawer and I am keeping a lot of powders it seems. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I can still get a little bit out of it but it's a bit of a struggle so that can go. Stila. 
spray on powder. I'm just going to spray it into my drawer because my drawer is so messy and needs a good clean. Look at this. It's a spray powder. Why? Why? I'm going to keep that for a first impression because I've not tried it yet. Armour Decay, the Velvetizer, that can go. And Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, that can stay. I got it in Sephora. It's nice. It's supposed to be a highlighter and in this incredibly bright light, I can see why you would think that. But it is very, very, very subtle when you use it like with a brush. So I use it as more of like a skin finisher, even though I rarely do. But I will try to more in the future, so I'm going to keep that one. So I'm going to clean up the drawer, change my battery, that's why I'm talking so fast right now. And we'll stack them back in and then I'll show you everything that is going away. That's not dirt on the drawers, it's like gouges out of the white, the white plywood or whatever this is. So again, I don't really have a great storage solution for this drawer, unfortunately. Again, I could kind of build one. And I might do that tomorrow so that when I film my makeup collection it all looks a bit neater but for now I'm just gonna like stack them in and that's it but yeah I might create something to keep them a bit tidier but I might not um let's just let's just throw things in here will we I mean that could look better and when I close it it's probably all gonna roll around eh, not too bad anyway I'll find out some better way of organizing that at some point in the future you're just sitting on my chair right now but this is everything I'm getting rid of so all the powders and concealers and then this is all the primers I'm getting rid of quite a lot Primer though has never been like a, a love of mine and for the one person that asked about this chair it's very comfy but it's very discoloured after one sit on it like this is not multiple sits like one sit discolours it so yeah anyway I think a pretty good declutter oh let me show you inside the drawers that would help so this is now my concealer drawer I'm a lot happier with it I didn't get rid of a whole amount I mean I got rid of quite a few but this drawer still does look quite full, but concealer is something I use a lot of, like a lot of products. Sometimes I'll even use concealer as foundation if I'm just like feeling lazy one day or whatever. So I'm, I mean I'm happy with it overall, it's not too bad. And I have really only kept the ones that I love. And then, what's this, primers, primers, moisturizers, lip balms, that's not bad, that is quite a small collection now, I would say, even for someone that doesn't really love primer, I don't know, it's not too bad. And there's a few in there that I still need to do like first impressions of. And then, powder. I mean that looks quite neat, but in reality it's not great, but I will work something out, I hope. So that's it, that's it for today really. Not bad, not bad declutter. So that's it, we have decluttered everything. Everything apart from brushes, face sprays, what's it called, setting spray, skincare and like glitters and pigments, but I ain't getting rid of any of that stuff. I'm quite attached to it, so I think we've done a good job overall. I've got rid of, what would you say? I'd say maybe 50% of my collection, a good solid 50% is gone and I'm pleased, I am pleased, I think I feel lighter, I feel better and especially like knowing I'm on my no buy as well, I'm like this, I'm not going to get cluttered up again saying that, I've got already six new eyeshadow palettes in since I decluttered this drawer but I'm not keeping them all, I promise. But yeah, that is kind of the end of our declutter series. 
This isn't the last video of the week though, we've got an anti-haul coming up. Anti-haul, anti-haul. And just a makeup collection kind of beauty room video coming up as well, if I can film them in time. I really hope I can. Yes, I hope you've enjoyed this portion of this week's videos of getting rid of makeup. I know it's hurt some of your souls that I've gotten rid of specific things. So that's it for me tonight. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And especially if you're looking forward to the anti haul and the makeup collection video, then you should subscribe so you don't miss them. And leave me a comment down below because you do know I reply to every single one of my comments. And I also want to say a massive thank you again to all of my Patreons. Thank you for supporting me in a financial way on my channel. You know, I hope you know that it boggles my mind baffles my brain and it tickles my pickle all three and um, yeah just it's a gr tremendous help and I promise you that once I'm back in work which hopefully will happen <laughs> unless my unless YouTube could actually be a job but if I do go back to work then I am going to be closing my patreon but for the time being it is just such a help Honestly, thank you so much. If you want to become a Patreon, the link's down below in the description. And Patreons get early access to videos. They get Patreon-only videos and also regular gift card giveaways to whatever store they want, which I always think is fun and a way of me giving back as well. If you don't want to become a Patreon or you can't become a Patreon, don't even think about it twice. Just know that watching my videos is a huge, huge support and I really, really appreciate it. If you have watched, all five of my declutters this far, then leave me a teeth emoji in the comments. Any kind of teeth, because I'm just looking at my teeth whitening strips so that's clearly I haven't been using, don't judge me. And on that note, I hope I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!